All right, Shalom. Brother Kabad, back with another GMS lesson. GMS, keep pushing. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekak, Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders the Great Millstone, the ones for teaching us his truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And now Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. All right, the title of this lesson is just, it's called, Just Wait on the Lord. You know, you know, when you come into this truth, you know, it, it, it gets harder each year you're in it, man. You know, and um, things that you see, you may want, you know, you have to just be patient, man. You know, it, it, it's patience when it comes with waiting on the Lord, man. You know. And so, um, this is Luke 21 and 19. It says, In your patience possess ye your souls. And that's the thing, man. You know, we want the Lord to come back speedily. You know? We want the Lord to uh, grant us things when we, when we pray for it immediately. You know? But we have to be patient, man. You know? It says, Luke 21 and 19, in your patience, possess ye your souls. Okay? And patience means to suffer. So you're going to pretty much, you're going to suffer in this truth, man. You know? For an example, I had a testimony where uh, my neighbors downstairs from me, um, you know, it was horrible, man. You know, had weed smoke coming up from the vents, playing loud music at odd times of the night, you know, and I prayed to the Lord. It didn't happen right then and there, but eventually the Lord answered my prayer, man. And this was on two occasions, okay? The first time it was, um, it was, uh, it was Ishmael. Okay, it was below me, making all types of crazy, uh, uh, loud music playing and stuff like that. And I prayed to the Lord, and um, instantly, the Lord got him up out of there. I believe that next day he was moving, you know. And then there was another occasion recently where this uh, nigga woman and her man was making all types of noise, arguing, fighting. We smoke coming through the vents. Okay, and the Lord uh, eventually got them out, man. But the point is, you have to be patient, man, because in your patience, possess your souls. You can't be too quick to uh, to react to things, man. You know? And then you end up regretting that you did it. Just got to wait on the Lord, man. Wait on the Lord. Let's grab another precept. And, you know, you wait on the Lord for everything, man. Everything. This is Matthew 6 and 33. It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High. And how do you seek the Lord? Through his men. That's why he has set up the apostles and the elders a great millstone. Okay? And the brothers on down. For you to seek. Because the Lord said he built his secret unto a service to prophets. Amos 3 and, uh, was it 3 and 7? This is Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High. And the Lord's telling you this for a reason, man. The Lord knows everything we want, everything we need before we even ask him, man. You know, you may be, you know, Wanting a brand new car Knowing that Your car now is on its last leg The Lord knows that You know You may uh, uh, want a better job Because the one you got is, 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 is horrible The Lord knows that You know You want the Lord to come back Look the Lord knows that man But the Lord said look just seek the kingdom of heaven first man Seek the kingdom of the most high first it reads on Matthew 6 and 33 But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High And his righteousness 
and all these things shall be added unto you. So you got to seek the heavenly Father. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the world calls God and Jesus Christ through his men and his righteousness, man. You know, turn back to these law, statute, commandments to the best of your ability, man. As Hebrew Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the confusion of faces that are among us, okay, who just look like these other heathen nations. But your seed goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Your spirit resonates with this word. So the last part says, And all things shall be added unto you. Everything that you need will be added unto you, man. Okay? Wait on the Lord, man. We have to be patient in this thing. And that's something that is hard for a lot, a lot of brothers to do. You know, I had to train myself in that aspect because the ways of this world doesn't teach you patience man it doesn't teach you uh, uh, to wait on things man that's why America's called what a microwave society you know everything comes quick when you want it you know verse 34 oh that, 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 was, that was the point that was the point Oh, you know what? I can read it. I can read it. <clears throat> Matthew 6 and 34. Take therefore no thought for, to, for the morrow. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. So don't worry about tomorrow. You know, all oh, my rents due. Okay. I don't have the money. Hey, look, don't worry about that. You know, seek the heavenly father, man. Okay, and all things will be added unto you as we just read. Seek the kingdom of the Most High first and everything will be added unto you, man. Okay? It says, For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day uh, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. You see? So we just need to worry about today, man. You know? What we got going on Seek the Lord. Everything else is going to be all right, man. You know? Let's grab another precept. I might close it out on this one. It's... Let's go to Psalms. Let's see here. This is Psalms 27 and 14. It says, Wait on the Lord, the Most High Yahweh, who you're going to call God. Be of good courage. Okay? And he shall strengthen thine heart. That word heart goes back to the Hebrew word love, which means your mind. Wait, I say, on the Lord, the Most High Yahweh. Okay? So that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. Yeah, we want things in this world. Okay, yeah, we want our prayers to be heard, but look, on do on, on the Lord's time, man. Just, 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 just wait on the Lord, man. Be patient. You're going to have to suffer, you know. That's just something that you know you're going to have to get used to being in this truth. You know, sometimes the Lord answers your prayers quickly. Sometimes He waits a while, man. But whatever you uh, uh, desire to obtain, you're going to have to wait on it, man. Hell, yeah, hey, you, you you might have to wait till you're in the kingdom of heaven. But the Lord said what? Going back to Matthew 6 to 6 chapter, seek ye the kingdom of heaven first, man. Okay? And everything else will be added. In due time. This is Psalms 27 and 14. Wait on the Lord. Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. Be of good courage okay let's get that that definition of courage h2388 kazakwa kazakwa kazak kazak kazakwa it says Strengthen, prevail, harden, be strong, become strong, be courage, courageous, be firm. Look, be firm, be firm in this truth, man. To be strong, grow strong. You got to grow in this truth, man. 
to be firm, to be secure, to grow str uh, st uh, stout, grow hard. See, to be to strengthen, to make strong. So, when the scripture says, "Wait on the Lord and be of good courage," you got to be strong, man. You know, and He shall strengthen thy heart, thy mind. It says, "Wait." I say on the Lord. So we're supposed to uh, 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 wait on the Lord, man. You know, this is just a quick lesson. You know, letting, you know, first and foremost myself know I need to wait on the Lord with things, man. You know, and to the, the, the I give him this listen, man. You know, he's got to wait on the Lord, man. So with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who teach us this truth according to the Bible and rule well. Another shalom to all the sincere Akiyams throughout the four corners of the earth pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.